Hello everyone, my name is Zinzi Pusha Bakai. This segment is called QGIS Beginner's Guide How to Successfully Export Your QGIS Project. So, yeah, let's get right on to it. Hey, now that my colleague has shown you how to play around with different map elements on QGIS and different options on QGIS, I will show you how to create a map layout. So, when it's going out for print, so you click on the new print layout icon on your ribbon and you give it a name primary health care facilities so this is a unique name for your 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 map layout and then this window opens when you right click onto that square you see the page properties option and you have you can change the size of your page orientation width height I want to change mine to an A5 and I'll leave it as a landscape. And I want to zoom in, make this full. So you can add your map in two ways. You can go to add item where you add the map or you can click on that add map icon that shows here. And then you draw the square. Perfect. So, because I want to add more map elements, I'll just leave this as that. And let me change the scale because I want it to be bigger. So the smaller the scale, the bigger the, the map. Okay. City of 20. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Now all my, my local municipalities are showing. I don't want to change the scale because then it is not going to show the other local municipalities. For some reason, they disappear. If I make it large, larger than this, that is. Now that I've added my map, I just want to create a frame around my map so that it doesn't look weird. I like to box everything. So go back to my item properties, scroll down to the frame option, tick the frame box. Perfect. See? So next up, I'd like to add a legend to my map. So you go back to add item, add legend, and you draw it on your, okay. So it adds all the layers that are on my initial project. And you have an option to name your legend, give it a name. And specify and we go to fonts and text formatting you can change the font I want to make it bold I want to keep mine size 12 perfect and then yeah that's my legend. Secondly, I would like to add a north arrow orientation. So you go to add north arrow and you draw it. And then I think this is like the the default that they have. But then when you click on those um three dots on the right hand side you can add an image you can yes you can add an image of choice it should be saved onto your desktop though and then i want to resize it and place it in the the middle Make it 
Hola. ¿Qué? Yeah. I'd also like to add an insert map so you guys or the viewers or the audience rather has an idea of where South Africa is and where Gauteng, where Gauteng is exactly, where is it located in, um, in South Africa. So in order for me to do that, I have to lock, first lock my, my layers. So you go back to the map. A map one that you already have and you, you scroll down to layers and you lock your layers uh, so that any changes that you make on the initial map or your initial project don't affect the map that you already have or already inserted here i also want to lock the styles for my layers and then i can go back to my original map so here on my origin on my insert map i just want to show where Gauteng is so I can zoom into the South African layer, and that's where Harding is. I changed the color to, to orange. You can label it, and you go to your labeling styles, layer labeling options. single labels and you change the value so it's ADM1 EN that's counting you can make it you can draw a buffer around the the text or you can you can use um you can draw collabs so if that's the option you're going for you go back to that icon and you move okay okay and you move Yeah. So yeah. So it moves it outside um of how take the line you can increase the width of the line and then you can always change the font of your label make it bold and increase the size okay okay i think i'm done and then you go back to your so again add item add map remember the styles and uh the layers were locked for the main map so there won't be any changes to the main map perfect my insert map i'm happy with the scale and I want it to be the project uh, coordinate reference system and I also want to put a frame around it. I mean you can have multiple um uh, multiple maps on 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 one layout so it's really up to you moving on i want to add an image just to show that this was done in QGIS. so you go to add picture you draw your box okay 
okay and then image source you click on the three dots which will take you to your the folders onto your desktop and you have to load an image that's already saved and i think this is the one perfect also wanted uh, also want a frame around it And I want it to be at the center. Position and size. Um, placement, placement, sorry. You have uh, under main properties, you go to placement and put it at the center, which is middle. I'm happy with that. Let me just resize my, my north arrow. Just move my legend down a bit. Okay. Uh, can we make this smaller without ruining? Okay, yes. That's good. Okay. Now I want to add a coordinate system. Add item. Add label. And you draw your box. And then you have an option to write coordinate. Reference system is WGS thirty four. UTM zone 85 south idea correct okay awesome 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 so i also wanted do i want it to be around the frame though i guess i can put a frame around it And I just wanna just want to increase the width of my my legend so that it's it's in line with all the other elements. So just position and size, width, and. that's it you i mean while well, you can add a scale bar it's good practice and just have a smaller one there can i put it at the center does it have placement Yes. Can move it around. I think everything looks good to me. So when you are done with your map and you're happy with how everything turned out, you can either save it as a PDF file, click on that icon there, or you can save it as a JPEG image. So PDF option, my go-to option, 
and you rename it. Plot. Your format. What is export? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I am going to accept the default. So yeah, guys, here is the final product. Um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.